Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Don't you see that it is only those who rely on faith who are the sons of Abraham, Scripture foresaw that God was going to use faith to justify the pagans and proclaim the good news long ago when Abraham was told, In you all the pagans will be blessed. Those therefore who rely on faith receive the same blessing as Abraham, the man of faith. On the other hand, those who rely on the keeping of the law are under a curse, since Scripture says, Cursed be everyone who does not persevere in observing everything prescribed in the book of the law. The law will not justify anyone in the sight of God, because we are told, the righteous man finds life through faith. The law is not even based on faith, since we are told, the man who practices these precepts finds life through practicing them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by being cursed for our sake, since scripture says, Curse be every everyone who is hanged on a tree. This was done so that in Christ Jesus, the blessing of Abraham might include the pagans, and so that through faith we might receive the promised spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. I will thank the Lord with all my heart in the meeting of the just and their assembly. Great are the works of the Lord, to be pondered by all who love them. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. Majestic and glorious his work, his justice and firm forever. He makes us remember his wonders. The Lord is compassion and love. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. Gives food to those who fear him. Keeps his covenant ever in mind. He has shown his might to his people by giving them the lands of the nations. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. Alleluia. 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 The prince of this world will now be cast out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. 
when Jesus had cast out a devil, some of the people said, It is through Beelzebub, the prince of devils, that he casts out devils. Others asked Jesus as a test for a sign from heaven. But knowing what they were thinking, he said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is heading for ruin, and a household divided against itself collapses. So too with Satan. If he is divided against himself, how can his kingdom stand? Since you assert that it is through Beelzebub that I cast out devils. Now if it is true, sorry, now if it is through Beelzebub that I cast out devils, through whom do your own experts cast them out? Let them be your judges then. But if, it's, but if it is through the finger of God that I cast out devils, then know that the kingdom of God has overtaken you. So long as a strong man, fully armed, guards his own palace, his goods are undisturbed. But when someone stronger than he is attacks and defeats him, the stronger man takes away all the weapons he relied on and shares out his spoil. He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of a man, it wanders through waterless country, looking for a place to rest, and not finding one, it says, I will go back to the home I came from. But on arrival, finding it swept and tidied, he then goes off and brings seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, and they go in and set up house there, so that the man ends up by being worse than he was before. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the Gospel there is talking about, about exorcisms. Um, there's a liturgical book uh, on exorcisms, uh, exorcisms and related supplications, uh, 2014 translation. And uh, part of it's available in this book, uh, an appendix to, to that one. Uh, and uh, it has invocations uh, to the Blessed Virgin Mary. And on, on this uh, memorial, I'll uh, read out the last one of those. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Now let us humbly pray to God our Father who has done great things for the Blessed Virgin Mary and continues his marvellous works in the Church. For the Church, that in unison with Mary it may proclaim the wonderful works of God and make his mercy known to all the nations, for he casts down the mighty from their thrones and raises up the lowly. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For all the peoples of the earth, that under the impulse of the Holy Spirit, they may be gathered into the one people of God, under the rule of Christ the King. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For harmony among nations, that through the prayers of the Queen of Peace, hatred may be laid to rest, wars ended, and all the earth enjoy prosperity and peace. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For those who endure illness, poverty, loneliness, imprisonment, or persecution, that the Blessed Virgin the Queen of Mercy, may strengthen and encourage them with a mother's care, 
be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For all here present, that recognising the unique dignity of the Blessed Virgin, we may try to imitate her humility and spirit of service and daily love her more and more. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Lord God, through the prayers of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, whom you have given us for our Mother and Queen, grant that we too may share in the fullness of your grace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and Merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.